Ah, good afternoon. Well, uh, for some time now, I've been thinking of getting a passive sound bar uh, to, to get a, a bit better um, sound from the TV. Uh, I'm married and um, the wife is, is re very keen that we don't have much wiring and speakers around the place. And as you can imagine, being me, this is, can cause some friction, which is why, why I decided on the, on the passive sound bar. And I've had a look online, they seem to be of varying quality, but in the end I went for this one. And this is the Q Acoustics LCR65. Now this is a 3.0 system and it's meant to fit uh, screens up to 165 centimetres wide. Uh, and uh, as you know I've had Q Acoustics speakers in the past, I've liked it and I thought I'd give it a go. Um, one of the things that really uh, attracted me about it was that this is new, uh, it's brand new, unopened and it cost me £50 delivered. Uh, I looked online before I got it in various sites and it looked like it uh, retailed for £400. So, so hopefully it's going to be pretty good. So let's have a look at what's inside it. Well what you get is you get a grill cloth to cover it, there's uh, some allen keys, Oops, um, instruction manual and a template. But it looks like that's a, a wall template so you can uh, drill the holes in the right place. Uh, by the way, the first thing you notice when you get these is it's incredibly heavy. Um, on the outside it says it's 16 and a half, sorry, 14 and a half kilograms and you certainly feel it when you pick it up. So let's take the bits off inside, excuse me. And these are the speakers. Oh, I think it would have to be a pretty strong wall to stick this on. So, what you got is you've got three single balanced radiators. And the thing about this is apparently these slide in and out to make it uh, smaller and larger. So, I think that's, that's pretty well made. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it up. And in a couple of weeks' time, I'll report back to see how it sounds. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a bit. Right, back again, slightly sooner than I thought. Uh, the reason why was I couldn't work out where to put the wires. Um, I suppose I could have looked in the instruction manual, but I'm a bloke, so I never read instruction manuals. Anyway, it turns out that it's behind here. So there's two little screws in there, two little screw terminals, which takes the wiring, and then they go in the back. That, that's, that's something I haven't seen before. Right, back to, back to the first plan. See you soon. Right, so I finally wired it up. As you can see, you have to extend it, and I've extended this as far as I can. And um, wiring it up wasn't very easy. As you can see here, what happens is you, uh, you have to put the speaker wire through there and kind of then turn it 90 degrees, which is A, very difficult, and B, means that you can't actually use, you know, good quality thick speaker wire as I'd like to. This is, by the way, is covered up and there's a sort of a, a cloth you put over it like that. So now I'm going to give it a listen to see how it all sounds. So that's the Q Acoustics QAV passive sound bar. Uh, difficult to set up. Um, it's a bit. I've, I've noticed these with Q Acoustics before. Uh, on the thirty tens, I've got the um, uh, sockets for the banana plugs are kind of uh, crossed, and I've seen others. I think it's the twenty twenties where you kind of have to go over underneath. The, 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 they don't seem to have often thought out their cable um, connections very well. Though so the concept twenty seem fine. Anyway, it, it was read up and I've been listening to it for a while. Uh, and the quest is, uh, am I going to keep it? And Well, I, I'm not sure. There, there are pros and cons to it. I mean, the, the pros are is, is that the sound quality is great. I mean, if you look at the... Uh, yeah, I was listening to some jazz on it, and the, the jazz piano had a really lovely delicacy to it. Uh, there's obviously no bass, and you need a subwoofer, which I've got. But, you know, music-wise, it's, it's, it's really lovely, and, you know, for £50, punches well above its weight. I think it was originally about 350 Movies is, is a bit more nuanced. 
Uh, again, you've got good detail, a good sound quality. What you don't get is much in the way of, of spread and placement of sound. Now, originally I thought this is because, well, it's a sound bar and it's not that big, but, you know, I've got it quite close to it and I'm probably about four foot away when I'm, I've been listening to it. I've had it extended to its uh, maximum and I reckon there's about 70 or 80 degrees between the two um, radiators on the ends. And still, you don't get much of a sense of spread of, you know, stuff panning across. And I'm wondering whether that's not just to do with, you know, how far away I am, because I say, you know, I'm quite close. I think it's more to do with the fact that the radiators aren't, aren't very directional as, as, as uh, normal sort of cone speakers are. So, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about it. So, on the pro side, excellent sound quality, and, you know, they sell them off quite cheap now. On the con side, not easy to set up. You can't really use, you know, very thick speaker wire, and, and, and you don't get the sort of the, the, the sound feel you get in other speakers. So, depends what you, you think. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and um, hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye now.